Alachua County is back in the biodiesel business, and by that we mean the business of saving county residents money and helping to keep our environment clean by resuming production of biodiesel fuel. The benefits to the citizens are basically we're going to be using the biodiesel and blending it with the petroleum fuel and uh, basically reducing the uh, emissions and um, the amount of carbon that's going in the atmosphere. So it's a real benefit to the community just because of the, the trucks will be using cleaner fuel. County Environmental Protection and the County Household Hazardous Waste Center have been recycling used vegetable oil for about three years and turning it into biodiesel fuel used by county trucks. The county had to suspend biodiesel production for six months, however, due to costly and time-consuming paperwork and reporting previously required by the state, which made changing the law an important issue for the county commission. We were producing it, then we got classified into a wholesaler's category, and as a result, we quit doing it just because of the amount of bureaucracy that was involved. So um, we decided that we would make this a priority for our legislative session and did so this year. And we were very fortunate to have our, our, our legislative delegation, Senator Bradley, Perry, Representative Perry, and Representative Watson, who were totally on board. The county's state legislative delegation stepped up to the plate in the last legislative session to champion a bill to ease the regulations. It passed unanimously. Let me thank everybody involved in this, our EPD staff, our legislative uh, staff, you guys did a great job in making it easy for the legislature to adopt a really good bill and a good piece of legislation. Our legislative delegation and the county commissioners, thank you so much for the support you gave us. This just made, made perfect sense. It was a win-win for the people of Latchel County, for the people of the state of Florida saves taxpayer dollars, it's good for the environment, so uh, we were all proud to be a part of uh, the effort to get this accomplished. This bill not only affected Alachua County, but I thought it was going to be good for the state of Florida as well. So uh, we are limited up there, but it was one of my priorities. I thought this is a great piece of legislation to help not only the environment, uh, but also to encourage uh, technology and innovation. We had a good understanding of what this bill means to Alachua County, the environment, uh, cost-effective fuel, clean fuel, uh, and it was an easy uh, bill to advocate for, and I was honored to be a co-sponsor of the bill. And now that the bill has passed, the county can get back to saving money. Our costs are a little bit under $2 a gallon for the, the biodiesel that we're making, and you know you compare that, um, depending on the market, diesel fuel is between 3 $3.50, maybe $3.80 a gallon, depending on the market. For every gallon that we can avoid having to buy at the market and we can substitute this biodiesel, we're saving the county money. But that's not all we're saving. Not only is the biodiesel produced at the center a clean burning fuel which could reduce dependence on foreign energy, by recycling used cooking oil, the county is also helping to save water. For one gallon of um, biodiesel that's made from virgin vegetable oil, it takes thousands of gallons of water to do that. And the process we're using with waste vegetable oil, since it's already a waste product, it's, it's only a couple of gallons um, per gallon that's produced. So, you know, from, from some of the concerns we've got locally, trying to keep our springs flowing and our rivers flowing and our lake levels up, the idea of reducing the water footprint for making energy is really important. People in their homes and restaurants were pouring the, un, the, the used vegetable oil down the drain. If it gets into the sewer system and it clogs it up and you have a sewage spill, you, it, it's getting into our creeks and our rivers. Just alone to keep that stuff out of the sewer system is enough reason to be doing this. And that's the kind of innovative thinking Alachua County is known for. Alachua County is cutting edge. What they do is they're always looking for ways uh, to be better, to be innovative, and this is just one example. Alachua County has a real tradition of being on the cutting edge when it comes to um, new technologies, when, uh, when it comes to protecting our envir environment with new technologies. And I look at this as being part and parcel of that uh, larger trend. This today, not only is great for Alachua County, I think it's going to be the beginning of a new and innovative way to address fuel, uh, not only in Alachua County, but I think in the state of Florida. For Alachua County Communications, I'm Alan Yetter.